and welcome to a new video of Join the Dog Mom! So today I want to share a little bit more of my experience in Alaska. In my last video I showed you some first impressions of these three weeks in March. But for those who want to know a little bit more about these impressions, photos and videos that I shared with you, just watch this video. I'm gonna tell you some more about my vacation in Alaska. Zack! So first of all, we had a five hour drive from Berlin to Frankfurt by train. And then we flew from Frankfurt to Seattle. It was about an 11 hour flight. And we had to stay there in Seattle for six hours. I swear, we were almost dying. And then with a 30 minutes delay, we started from Seattle to Fairbanks. About 2 a.m. in the morning, after more than 30 hours of traveling around, we fell into a cozy and warm bed in our new cabin. Never be scared about the journey you have to do or you have to take before you get somewhere, because it will be absolutely worth it. I promise you, it sounds terrible, but it's always worth it. About my first steps in the middle of the night towards my new cabin, I wrote down in my diary. It was so quiet that we felt as if we were working the floor with jackhammers, but it was just the crunch of the snow below our boots, a sound that I missed for a very long time. And the next days were supposed to be breathtaking. For example, we went to uh, Little Richards with right. friends and had a really good out. meal there. It was such a fun place to be. <laughs> and we cooked at our friends houses we cooked with our friends and we had really really good company like all the time <laughs> and we spent a lot of time with my friends dogs and just enjoyed being outside on one of our weekends we drove to anchorage to the south coast like down all the way down from Fairbanks to Anchorage to watch the ceremonial start of the Iditarod sled dog race. It was incredible to feel the atmosphere of this event that has such a long history. We cheered for our favorite champions for uh, like two hours and I swear I could have done that the whole day. It was simply amazing.
the same day at afternoon we drove to the AWCC, the Alaskan Wildlife Conservation Center, and it was a beautiful trip. This is a paradise for hobby photographers, especially in winter, because it's super calm and the surrounding looks just beautiful. Last day we tried to get to the real start of the race to Willow but it was so heavy snowing that we really had to hurry because we wanted to drive back to Fairbanks the same day and this should take us about six hours at good weather conditions. So we went through the hall very fast, bought a few souvenirs and ran back to the car to go and start back home. The home for us was the most positive, quiet and peaceful place I've been in a long time. We saw our friend's foxes, talked to her ravens, feeded her squirrels and spent hours outside at minus 30 degrees below with her dogs. Most of the dogs are eight and older. They are grateful for their calm life, for safety, and they are so kind and friendly that we took them deep in our hearts very quickly. <laughs> they are cuddly, playful, loving, and super fluffy. <laughs> I grew up with them as a child and I have known this breed all my life. Alaskan Malamutes are special and they have very specific needs, which is why I own a Dalmatian and a French Bulldog, not a Malamute. <laughs> they are big sled dogs, an ancient breed from, from a long, long time ago and they have very special needs and they are beautiful for sure, but they have power, a lot of power. Anyway, we are in Alaska and it was winter, so of course we had to do a sled dog ride. <laughs> This is an experience that is designed to make you stronger, to bring life, the old spirits and powers back to your soul. It is a time of trust, respect and freedom. The dogs know what to do and you have to trust an animal. Let all fear and all stress go and one free with your team. I will do that again. I know it deep inside my heart. And as we are, and we were, very lucky, we met just the right people at our holiday. Our landlord, sled dog tour guide, and good friend of Nicole, my friend, took us to his favorite place for Sundays. We went to a very old pub bar restaurant thing in the middle of nowhere there were locals playing music together old and young drinking beer and just having a good time worries is a foreign word in this place and that evening we met a very very nice man 
who invited us to a snowmobile tour to his place just for the next day. Sure, you call it stupid, I call it adventurous. <laughs> such a great day. He took us to Easterdome, Fairbanks and brought us back home safe. So we had beautiful, clear and very cold nights, we had beautiful sunny days, we saw so many animals, met so many nice people and we had really good meals. <laughs> we had a really really good time there and felt so alive again and if you are thinking about going there or not, go there if you have the time and if you want to see this as well, just go there, experience it and see this country in winter, it's absolutely worth it, I promise. Nicole, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the adventures and all the experiences you brought to my life and everything you brought to my life. We know each other for more than 10 years now and I always enjoy being with your company, talking to you, laughing with you, having fun with you and you always showed me the bright side of life and I really, really, really appreciate that and you know that. <laughs> and yeah, to everyone else who's still watching this video, <laughs> thank you very much for watching and I really, really do hope that you enjoyed this insight of of my experience of our journey with a little bit more of information than just pictures and if you really liked it and if you're new to my channel then welcome just leave a subscribe or leave a comment i would be really really happy and yeah i really hope to see you again for my next video next week we will see what this will be about maybe not alaska this time but <laughs> thank you so much for watching have a really good day, enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, enjoy the sun, it's outside, enjoy the snow, if you live in Alaska, enjoy the mud, <laughs> enjoy the mud season, <laughs> and see you soon, stay safe my friends, bye!